Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a very unique front living room kind of bunkhouse type of RV. This is a 2021 Highland Ridge Open Range Model 376 FBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the three things we love and the three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this very big, very unique front living bunkhouse unit. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Good. What are we doing right now? So Jan is live. So we're doing like a behind the scenes while doing this video. Yep, and if you want to see the behind the scenes video, make sure you check out our normal channel, Matt's RV Reviews. Um, right. But this video, if you guys want to see this video, it's on Matt's RV Reviews Towables. Right. You ready to begin? Yeah. Cool, let's begin. Model is 376 FBH, but the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 42 feet, five inches. The dry weight is 12,727 pounds and will the hitch weight? 2,535 pounds. Perfect. <laughs> Always remember, it's not necessarily about how much you can tow, it's about the pin weight as well. Right up here, you can see the nice horse side. This is the open range, I love this. Nice fiberglass cap right here. Right here, we do have a pin box, very nice. And then underneath here is your storage. This is where a generator can go as well. Coming down the side, it is ready for solar if you want to have solar. Your propane is right here. And as you can see, you do have these six point electric leveling jacks. Now what's a really nice feature about this is it has the JT strong arms right there. So when you're stationary at your campsite, you lock down those strong arms and it makes it very stable. It's kind of like what you'll see under the pin of a fifth wheel when somebody's at their campground for a long time. Coming down, we do have your storage right there. Right here, you can put a cooktop right there. And right there is a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill. Right out here, you do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Four seasons unit, right? Heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And then right here, you do have these nice lipper component solid steps. Coming down the side, Here's access for your residential refrigerator. And then look at these towers, well, they're the Rangers. I love these. They're the ST235-85R16. And we have those nice Dexter axles right there. And then this is what really makes this unit special. Look at that storage back there. That's crazy. Very nice. Slam latch doors. And the speakers are built into the awning. I didn't realize that. Oh, first. very cool. And then we have even more storage right here. This storage is absolutely amazing. And then coming in around the back, this is. Look at that. Here's your second bedroom back in here. Literally, this is so cool. Hi, Jen. Th thousand pounds of cargo carrying capacity back here. Very, very nice. Look, there's even a place for your fishing oh, rods. Oh, that is cool. Fishing rods, that is so cool. Right here, 3,000 pound hitch. Uh, not 3,000, yeah. 300 pounds of vertical. You cannot tow behind this fifth wheel at all and then up there it is kept for a furion backup camera coming around right over here here's where you dump your black and gray tank that's a place to put your stinky slinky this might be unique yeah your water hookups back here very nice i like how it's all enclosed you have your black tank flush potable water fill potable 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 <laughs> and your water heaters right here 50 amp power cords right there and everything. Finishing up, we do have frameless windows throughout. Right there, that's where your black and gray tank poles are, which is unique. The other side of the storage. And then here's the other propane tank. Well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. We'll go this way. 
No skipping? Normally he skips. There we go. <laughs> Check out the inside. All right, are we allowed to show the front? Yeah. Okay. How many people we got lost? Yeah. Nice. All right, so starting up front, this is the cool part. This front bunk living area here. Kitchen and living area and dining area here. Man, the jump box is dying. And back here is the bathroom and the bedroom. 42 feet, five inches. So Where are we starting? We're, we're going to start right, right up there. Okay. Okay, so this is very unique, size. Okay, so look. I guess salespeople don't need to put stuff back where they found it. <laughs> okay, so this is very unique. It's kind of like a front living room setup, okay? You have the two trifold cushions right here, okay? Look right over there, Will. I know, I didn't it see that has, at first. It has its own bathroom, which is very unique. Let's see if this bathroom gets the prime pooping position. It is porcelain. We got a medicine cabinet right there. Little valance right here. Porcelain toilet. Will, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! And then up front here, it's very unique. It's like a front living room. Look, you got storage right here, okay? But it also converts to another sleeping area, which is very unique. Look, you got a TV right here, and look, you even have a refrigerator That's right cool. there. Very nice. You got storage drawers and everything. Very unique fifth wheel design. And if you notice, Will is six foot three and yeah. he still has plenty of headspace. But really what makes it unique is coming down the stairs and you have another living room area. This is awesome, especially if you guys are on different sleep schedules or whatever. Or if this is for the person who their kids come with them sometimes and they have their own room, but it's still kind of like a front living room theater room. You have the J-shaped lounge, which I love that open range does that. You have your daytime shades and privacy shades throughout. And then we have some really nice storage all above. Same thing on this side. And what okay. big is this This is the Highland Ridge open range 376 FBH. Right here, we do have another TV entertainment center. Oh, and these pegs right there, that's where the table goes, okay? Uh, you have a fireplace and storage all around. And, well, you want to get that storage above? Sure. I need your phone for the MSRP, Jen. Up here and up here. Yep. And then right up there, you can see that it does have the Whisperfly air conditioning system. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this fifth wheel here is... $83,832 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right there, we don't currently have a sale price, but it doesn't matter what the sale price is, was or will be, we will always be able to get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Will, tell everybody how to do it. We should make Jen do it. What, Jen, tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey! 301 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or send me an email or go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact me tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this fifth wheel or any fifth wheel, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this fifth wheel, click tab number two and that sends me and Will an email. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, not a problem, click tab number three. But Will, it doesn't matter if they click tab number three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? Jen? They all get, get you a touch of math. We'll get you the best <laughs> price in America. <laughs> Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys, so this is actually really cool because um, with front living, a lot of times you don't get like a good sized kitchen, but you actually still do here. So you get nice storage up top here. Here is your panel and a little bit more storage up top. I like this backsplash here they did. Of course, it's not real tile, but uh -huh. still nice. Solid surface countertops. And then you get some drawers. This makes such a nice little coffee bar wow, or nice taco drawers. bar. Very nice. 
And a little more storage here. Very nice. Panel. Okay, over here you have a nice convection microwave. Uh-huh. They did continue that backsplash behind the uh, stove top. Of course, solid surface still. Nice four burner insignia cooktop. I love these with the residential oven. Wow, turkey tested, Will? Turkey approved. <laughs> and I love these little oh, spice rack that. things. Very nice. Um, and then a nice residential fridge. Oh, right over here. Second. Very nice. I love the residential fridges. Yeah, it might have the option for RV fridge too. Um, nice faucet with the spray thing and a nice big single bowl sink wow, right there. Wow, farmhouse style. Yep. And to get some storage here. Very nice. Oh, oh that's an $83 trash can. And it does have a little insert cutting board thing. Oh, and it's got the actual spot for it too, which is nice. Yeah. Little spot for sponges. And we got some drawers, drawers, and a little more storage there. Oh yeah. Yeah, the jump box is definitely dying. It is, yeah. Well, well, it's now time for the tall test. Get All on right. up there. Come on, America. How many people do we have watching, Jen? We have 281 people. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Again, if you want to see this actual episode, make sure you subscribe to our second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Towables, where Will and I do the video. So it is a radial shower, but it does pass the tall test. It does test. pass the tall test. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> but um does not pass the Y test. No. It does feel like a little bit of a bigger one and you do have the little step, but it's still tight. It's a radio shower. Yep. Right over here we have the countertop. A little bit more storage there. Oh snap. That is prepped for a combo washer oh, dryer. Wow. If you wanted one there. Over here is your medicine cabinet, a nice little sink vanity, and storage right there. It's now time for the toilet test part two. <laughs> Porcelain. I'm almost rubbing this. Uh -oh. Should have been, no, 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 no. Oh, I said almost. Will. Okay. I said almost. Well, fifth wheels don't fail very often. Yeah, it is a prime poop position. Okay. Bing! But it would have been better if they did move just it over little. just a little bit more. Great. Finishing up with the master bedroom. Okay. We have plenty of space back here. A nice rear slide out. Okay. Storage over here. Very nice. Raised up bed because of that storage back there. And um, we do have drawers back here, okay? I don't think Very I have nice. it on this side. Nope, it's just an open nope, little Nope, because tubby. this needs to slide in that way. Oh. And then we do have very nice storage up here. Same thing over here. Yes, sir. And it all passes through. The log might be down. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Got a call. And now it's frozen. Man. I don't know, do not disturb, do you? Yeah, but when people call if twice. Somebody uh, called twice. We're back live. We're back live, everybody. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're back live. We're losing people. We're losing people, but we're back live. Let us know. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you can still see us and hear us okay. And stop calling me. <laughs> cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the 376 FBH. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Will. What do we do first? Three things we dislike. Perfect. Let's go first up here. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Go that this way. way. Yep. Okay. My first dislike. We we're, we're there. Yeah, I got another call, so it froze. Really? Who the hell is calling me? That was me? a Baltimore number. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, we're still live. Okay. Yeah. First dislike is going to be not this U-shape because I really love this, but it's going to be the TV position, both right here looking sideways at that TV and the positions right there as well. Both sofas do have a sideways, there's no sofas that have a direct looking angle at that television. That is one. Will, two? Mine, I can almost combo with yours, but it's going to be this lip here really yeah i i like the flush floor here uh-huh something they need to do something a little better to keep that down i saw you tripping on it right like the whole time you were recording that is part of the problem with this because a lot of time it does take a while for it to go flush oh so it will work its way down yeah but i i do hear what you're saying yeah. it does some 
you know, if the slide outs are in too long, then it takes a while for it to go flush. Or maybe if they just trimmed it up so it didn't, you know, I don't okay. know, something like that. So that's two. And then number three, I'm not trying to do this, but I'm going to say that bathroom back there, okay? For this being such a big fifth wheel, I feel like they could have done something to make the bathroom a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, you know, it, and again, I'm not hating on this bathroom, but for this being 42 feet, five inches, you know, that bathroom kind of just is what it is. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Ready for me to go first? Yeah. I love this kitchen. Yeah. This kitchen's amazing. As Will said earlier, you, you don't get really big kitchens when it comes to front living room floor plans. I like the residential fridge. I like the big oven. I like the solid surface countertop. Everything about this kitchen is amazing. That's one. Yep. Two. Mine is going to be this room up here. Yep. Which is kind of the obvious. Yep. But this is just such a cool, like, guest area, guest room. Yep. You know, especially if it's not just kids, you know, but if you have some adults coming. You have two very good sized beds. The trifold sofas are comfortable. They have their own half bath. They have their own mini fridge. They have their own couch during the day. They have a door. They have their own separation of their own room. And the storage in here is awesome for, yep. for guests. So That's number two. And then number three, we're going outside. Okay. Thanks everyone for sticking around. Hi, Chuck. Chuck, what are you doing? So number three has to be this rear oh, storage. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Look how big it is. Look at look look at the fishing pole things. This is absolutely amazing. To find this storage in a bunk house is unheard of. So to get this and and just this whole RV to be a bunk, I'm talking about that one. And just this whole RV to be like a bunkhouse front living, I love the concept behind it. That's right. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching twice. Thank you for watching twice. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com because sometimes we do go live on YouTube and, and we can't accept phone calls when we're live. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, uh, that's the best way to get in contact with me. And if you're in the market for a bunkhouse front living room fifth wheel, in a few seconds, we're going to have videos that show up right there. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys. You know, we're really trying to bring you different floor plans and everything as well. Something a little bit different that you may not see anywhere. So I hope you guys like this. Definitely let us know down in the comments below three things you liked, three things you disliked. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Will, do you, I mean, Jen, do you have anything you want to say? Just thanks for being part of this. Yep. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Make sure you check out another video right there. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And Will, we'll see you next time.